so I don't know if I will have time to record with my telescope so I wanted to take a picture of the comet the comet C2010 pan stars if I'm right I'm going to correct when I go and see the name all you have to do is uh, copy the coordinates where it is today into the plate solving software which is the sequence generator pro software and then send the go to telescope which is uh, the CGXL mount with RASA 11 towards those coordinates and I'm going to use the color camera it's already there on the telescope and also I will use the Bader IR UV filter the Bader IR UV filter actually going to pick up the nebulosity that I need I don't want to use any other filter because if the comet is too light I won't be able to actually see the nebulosity of the comet so I'm going to leave the IR UV filter there and take a picture of it So I'm super excited. I was able to locate that comet and I started taking pictures of it. I'm doing a 60 second exposure on this comet and I'm thinking of taking a couple of hours. The focus is okay on this and I actually looked at the tracking, it's actually moving relatively slow compared to the usual comets. So it's like moving really slow. Like all you have to do is create a new target for this comet for you to locate in the sequence generator pro. And once you have the new target, go into the target settings and copy the RA and the deck from the website. So in this case, so if you go to the skylive.com and look for the comet C 2017, you get the RA and the deck from here, the coordinates over here, right? So if you copy these, copy the RA, and copy the deck, and the mount is going to slew to that location. I have a video on how to set up the plate solve for the sequence generator pro. If you have not set up the Sequence Generator Pro uh, with the plate solving, I think you can watch that video. So I'm actually doing the guiding. Uh, the guiding is relatively going okay, it's around 0.9. If you are interested taking pictures of this, I was looking at, it's pretty much there all day, like starts in the morning 8 o'clock. It sets in the morning 7. So it's pretty much there 24 hours in the sky. So pretty much available in the night time. Also, I was looking at the brightness. It's actually slowly increasing. So the comet is getting better. And if I look at the graph, this is actually a better time. Somewhere like June 2nd, or for that matter, May 17th is like 9.99 .99 magnitude. So it would be a pretty good time to take a picture around the time frame. I mean, you don't need to go to the exact date because we don't know that the sky is going to be clear. But somewhere in that area, if we start taking pictures, I think it will be like more brighter than what it is.